Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk to you about something extremely valuable. Exactly how to calculate the BTU output for whether it be a package unit, a split system, whatever it happens to be, where you're actually doing both latent heat and sensible heat. Latent heat is that point where you're wringing out moisture from the air and sensible is the physical temperature chain. So here to help me. My name is Mohammed. My name is Alex. And my name is Tim. And together we're going to walk you through step by step on how to calculate the BTU output of a unit. So you ready guys? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <clears throat> so what we have here is a 5 ton unit. It's rated for about 60,000 BTUs. And so what we're going to be doing is calculating uh, and actually testing if that is the case. So we're going to be using these formulas here. To calculate the BTUs, we're going to need this equation, 4.5 times the CFM times the delta M. 4.5 is a standard given. It's basically your set point is your ground. This is the, uh, the CFM. We calculate that by the area times the velocity divided by 144. We divide by 144 to get the square feet. So our duct spaces are going to be rectangular. So we're going to use the area of a rectangle. Length times width divided by 144. Now, for the velocity, we're going to be using a special tool called an anemometer to calculate that. We'll get into that a little later. And now, and then, the delta enthalpy is something we'll calculate as the total heat content of the unit. So what it is, is the, is the return air and the supply air difference. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with wet bulbs and dry bulbs to calculate enthalpy. We'll get into that later as well. So right now, I'm just going to show you the equipment and tools that we're going to need to do this. You're going to need your standard measuring tape. You can find these just about anywhere. These are a little harder to find. This is a psychrometer. Basically what it does, it measures the wet bulb and dry bulb uh, uh, values for the rate of space. This is an anemometer. Basically it measures the velocity of the air coming out of the unit. What it does is there's a fan attached, and as air goes through that uh, fan, it gives a value here. And that value is basically the velocity of the air coming out. So we'll be using this. This is a chart known as a ductulator. Basically, it measures the duct diameter, and it also does the CFMs. This will calculate our CFMs for us. Another chart we'll be using is the psychometric chart. Basically, this chart will be taking your wet bulb and your dry bulb values, and this you can use this to calculate your enthalpy. Now, of course, in this day and age, nobody wants to do all that by hand, so there's an app for that. What we have here is a psychometric app. Basically, it does everything that the two graphs that I just showed you did does. So this will calculate our, our wet bulb, our dry bulb, our enthalpy, our CFMs, and all that. So this is really handy. So first we're going to get the area, and to do that we're going to use the measuring tape to measure the length and the width of the duct space. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the anemometer, this tool here, to measure the velocity of the air coming out. Now what you may want to do is take an average of these readings, so take several readings here and then add them all up and divide by the number of readings you took and that'll basically give you your average velocity. Then we use the psychrometer to measure our wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures. Basically you take this, you stick it in here, and add, then you can read the actual wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures for the return air. And you also want to do this for the supply air as well. So don't forget that. This is another type of psychrometer that you can use. There are uh, many out there. So so now I'm going to actually show you the calculations that we did earlier to, for this unit. So, first what we did is we got the CFM, which is basically the area times the velocity. So first we started with the area. The duct space we measured was 18 by 11. Uh, we took that value 
uh, multiplied it and divided by 144, and we got one uh, 1.375 square feet, because we're using square feet. Now for velocity, we took about eight uh, velocity readings with the anemometer. Uh, we took eight readings, added them all up, divided by eight, and we ended up getting 984 uh, as our rated velocity. So to get the CFM, we take these two values and multiply them. And we ended up getting 1353 as our greatest CFM. Now, for the delta enthalpy, we took the, like I said earlier, supply and return air enthalpies, and we took the difference from those two values. So we got the, we needed the wet bowl and the dry bowl to calculate the enthalpy for the return air. And the same for the uh, wet bowl and dry bowl for the supply air as well. So we took the difference between the two, 23.079 minus 13.86. Uh, 13 we ended up getting 9.219, and that was our rated delta N. So then we took it back to this whole formula here, 4.5, which was our standard, the 13.53, which was our CFMs, and the 9.219, which is our rated uh, uh, delta N. We ended up getting 56,129. Now, our unit was rated for 60,000 BTUs. When we ended up getting this value, it's still about 93%, so that's pretty actually, that's actually pretty good. So, okay. so in conclusion, basically, we used these, uh, uh, we calculated the BTUs to see how much the unit was actually putting out. So, we used our measuring tape here. And then these are pretty standard issues. You can find these just about anywhere. Uh, this here is our anemometer. It measured the velocity. And this is our psychometric psychrometer. Basically, it measured the wet bulb and dry bulb. Now, these the last two tools I just showed you are unique to the trade, but you can actually you can there are many variations of these uh, as long as you have the tools. You can do what we did today. Now, like I said before, to make your life easier, instead of doing all this math, you can actually uh, get an app for calculating the CFMs, the BTUs, and all that uh, good stuff. So basically, what we did, we took a. This is another kind of app that we used. Basically, we plugged in the same values, and it actually gave us the same amount of BTU output. So, get an app. So, in conclusion, uh, we, we used our tools and figured out the BTUs, and that's pretty much it. My name is Muhammad, my name is Alex, and that's pretty much it. See you guys later.